1 Peter 2, 7 through 9 says this. Now to you who believe, this stone is precious. But to those who do not believe, the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. And a stone that causes people to stumble, and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the message, which is also what they were destined for. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of the darkness and into his wonderful light. A royal priesthood, what does that mean? I think it's fairly plain that it means God has a kingdom inheritance for those who believe and who act in a manner that is consistent with priestly precepts. Now, I understand that I am treading on thin ice in our present culture, but I believe that it is also fairly plain that one of those precepts is that God intends for men to take the spiritual lead in their families. This is not to lord over their wives or their children, but to sacrificially serve them and to exhort them to pursue a vital and passionate relationship with Christ. It is sad to me that a great many men have abdicated that role to others in their families, be it a child or a spouse. That being said, it is not incumbent upon anyone in this situation to stunt their own spiritual growth in deference to the one who is called to lead. And it is best, I believe, in any household for someone to take the lead in matters concerning faith. It is also supposed to be a partnership. And those who are not continually making an honest effort to grow are not only handicapping themselves, but the entire family unit. The fruit of such neglect is bitter and should, with love and holy boldness, be confronted. Again, this does not mean browbeating or be setting to the point of exasperation. It simply means leading with steadfastness, encouragement, and above all, wisdom. Now this is a tall order to steadfastly lead with wisdom. But this is also a priestly precept to lead with wisdom, which can be accurately defined as thinking as God thinks. Oh my goodness. Wisdom is thinking as God thinks. Things just got even harder, didn't they? Well, yes and no. Is it easy? Absolutely not. But is it eminently approachable? Absolutely yes. God delights in sharing his thoughts with us. And all we really need to do is ask, then listen, and receive. So here's the challenge. To act in accordance with being a chosen people royal priesthood, a holy nation, and God's special possession, we must first believe in the stone that the builders rejected, which is Christ, who has become the cornerstone. Then seek to grow and share what we learn as we grow. That sharing begins with the closest of those to us, our families. We are then instructed to reveal to others what God has revealed to us. May we never forget that sharing God's special gifts of wisdom, steadfastness, and encouragement is not only profitable to the kingdom, but fundamental to living out this priesthood. Father God, thank you so much for this word that you have shared with us today. Lord, let us come to you now in worship, setting ourselves aside as a royal priesthood, a holy nation, 
and your special possession, Lord, giving you the praise that you are worthy of and that you deserve, Lord. Seal these things in our heart today, in Jesus' name. Amen.